Hey everybody, Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thought I'd upload a quick Fuck It Friday video. I don't know if that's actually what I'm gonna call it, but every once in a while, I don't know. Random videos, just because random videos. I get a lot of questions about what I use to shoot videos with, what I use to, you know, how I, how I have my setup, what camera, what microphone, uh, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of real quick of my daily process. Today is a day that I'm going to be shooting a couple videos. Um, I generally shoot, with the exception of the vlog, I generally shoot my videos all within the same day. Sometimes the uppy closey stuff is done on different days and all of the you know, this style video, every video that's of my face, of like, you know, my torso, that's all done on the same day. Um, and sometimes the uppy closey is done on the same day, but a lot of times that's actually done on a different day, just because it takes a lot of, t <laughs> it takes a lot of time to shoot, and then uh, I spend a couple days editing, and then I pre-upload my videos so that uh, when I, publish them, they're already ready to go all in HD with all of the links included and then the thumbnails and blah, 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 this, that, and the other. I just use Photoshop for my thumbnails and I use my own pictures for the thumbnails as well. So anytime on my thumbnail you see a picture of a mod or an atomizer or a tank or something like that, that's my photo that I took myself. I don't like using the manufacturer's pictures or just stock pictures that I find online. It's always my own pictures. That's just kind of how I've always done it. So the first step when you're shooting any video ever is to get all the supplies you need. So I have this uh, Han Solo closet behind me that I bought from Ikea and I keep juice and mods and spare parts and all of my building stuff and atomizers and coil heads and giveaway stuff and all that stuff in there. So the first thing I always have to do is if I'm going to be doing an RDA video or a buildable tank atomizer video or something like that, I have to make sure that I have all my tools. If I need to build Clapton's, I need my clamp and my swivels and you know, you have to make sure you get all your supplies for everything you're going to shoot that day ready to go. So next is lighting. So again, I went to Ikea and I bought two of these desk lamps like this and I have one on either side of my desk that are normally pointed down at my desk so they're not blinding me in the face. But when I shoot video, especially the uppy closey portion, you can kind of see right here, I tilt them out so that I have kind of an area right here. If I pop on my camera, you can kind of see I have an area right here that is well lit even on like a dark or cloudy day, I'm still gonna have light from here and light from here straight down in there so you can, you know, see through the camera. So that is my camera. Um, this is what I use to basically shoot everything while I'm at home. It's a Panasonic GH4 with an Olympus lens. I believe it's a 12 to 40 millimeter. I'm not 100% sure. 12 to 40 millimeter Olympus lens on there. Uh, this is where the microphone goes out. So this camera does have an internal microphone that is actually just horrific and I hate using it. So I went on Amazon and I bought this little condenser mic here and I actually got this condenser mic. I think it was only like 30 or $35. It was a really cheap uh, condenser mic and it came with its own, whoops, this thing came out. It came with its own like shock mount so that when you bump it or move it, it's not going to pick up any of that stuff. Um, it's on a, and this is set up for up and closey. So anytime I'm doing tanks or rebuildable atomizers or anything like that, this is the up and closey setup. Uh, it's on a mic stand that kind of sits here and comes in over the top so that when I'm sitting in this position, I'm looking through the viewfinder of the camera, my microphone's right here. So it's picking up my audio really nice. Now this microphone doesn't have its own power supply. It needs a phantom power supply. So this cord goes down here. Yeah. 
to Phantom Power Supply. And again, this was like 40 bucks, I think, on Amazon. That plugs into the wall for power. This cord goes to the microphone, and then this cord here goes to the camera. So the camera can have a, uh, a microphone on there. And this is something that I have to set up and take down every time I shoot videos, which is why when I get free time, I will shoot some uppy closey. I will probably do like two or three videos at a time just so I don't have to set up and take this down and set it up and take it down multiple, multiple times. Now, when I'm shooting regular video, this is kind of more the view I guess you're used to. It would be like right here. I just set this tripod and I got this tripod. Oh, I can't even remember. Snake clamp, clamp stands, snake clamp stands or something like that. But it's just, it's an incredibly strong goose neck. I mean, incredibly strong and it's got a swivel and a camera mount on the top and it's got this big plate on the bottom. So really I just upright the camera, I spin it around, I put it there. I have to take down my little microphone assembly and move it over here and get my microphone to where it needs to be. And then I focus my camera, I flip these lights back down towards the desk because I have this huge gigantic window here. And this gigantic window lets in a lot of natural light. So even on cloudy days, I still get plenty of natural light. And when you're shooting YouTube videos, natural light is basically your best friend. If it's dark or overcast or something like that, I'll flip this light over here up so that I have natural light on this side and then I have some room or artificial light coming in from this side. It's important to have good lighting, good microphone, a decent camera. You certainly don't have to use like a fucking DSLR or anything like that, but it just uh, works and works well. So once you have everything all ready to go, I have the mods I'm reviewing over here, the tank and the atomizer. I have uh, any spare parts I'm gonna need like building supplies or coil heads and stuff like that, all ready to go. And yeah, that's it. You just sit down, you shoot video. And you know, when you shoot video, it's not going to be perfect the first time. Um, I tend to repeat myself a lot, so sometimes that gets edited out. And I sometimes I'm just not happy with the way that I said something. And I'll do a reshoot and a reshoot and a reshoot. And then when I'm editing it, I'll use, you know, what I feel would be the best way to, you know, communicate that, like the best, my best phrasing, I guess, just so it's, it's clear and it's easy to understand. But yeah, it's kind of this big, <laughs> I mean, it's not that big of an ordeal, but it's a little bit of an ordeal to get my microphone and camera and lighting and everything set up basically a couple of times a week in order to shoot video and the editing process is I've got it streamlined pretty well um, I've been editing video for well seven years now on YouTube and so I kind of know what I need to do I use Sony Vegas for Windows I don't edit on Mac just because my MacBook Pro doesn't have a really big enough hard drive to hold these big video files So I tend to edit that down. Uh, I use Sony Vegas for Windows and I've been doing it for so long with that program that I kind of know exactly what I need to do every single time and it's it's kind of become more of a streamlined process, but Editing video still takes a long time. If I'm spending one day and I shoot three full videos, which is to say I shoot three full uppy closey segments and three full talking head segments, it will usually take me the entire next day to edit and render them. Editing really only takes like as long as the video is, I guess, probably 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes if there's some complicated like rebuilding stuff in there but rendering it is what takes the longest. These files on, especially not necessarily this camera, but on this Panasonic camera shooting in the HD 60 frames per second, the file sizes are enormous. They're just gigantic file sizes. And so rendering, the raw file sizes are big, so they take a long time to transfer, but rendering that from Sony Vegas Pro to a file that YouTube can have and understand and, and you know, upload that takes uh probably the longest time it's 
about double the amount of time. So if I have a 10 minute video, it takes 20 minutes to render. And the vlog, if I have in the vlog takes fucking forever. The vlog takes probably close to nine hours to render just because of the length. But this isn't about the vlog. This is just my day to day video shooting setup. That's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, uh, it takes time, it takes dedication, and this isn't like, a, you know, some sort of motivational speech for up and coming YouTubers, but just, you know, if you're gonna get into doing YouTube videos, you just have to have the time to dedicate to it. You have to get decent gear and, uh, you know, have the drive and the focus to actually get shit done. I work from home, I could just as easily right now go kick it on the couch and, you know, watch, I don't know, Star Trek, but I can't, uh, I sit now and I edit video and, and I'm going to shoot video. So that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, there was no vaping in a vaping video. Let me grab this. That's right. Okay. One vape in a vaping video. That's what I got. So, uh, everybody. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, boom. Keep on vaping. That's enough.